Hey ladies, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be doing this video tutorial. This is all about how to structure your blog post for massive success. And what I mean is like, you can do so much with blog posts. People think that blogging is dead. Blogging is not dead, guys. I promise you, blogging is not dead, okay? Um, and I, I, I should have actually pulled it up to show you, but I have an application on my site. Matter of fact, I can find it through the Lady Paneers site. I'm going to pull this up real quick because I really want you guys to um, understand how important utilizing a blog and even utilizing YouTube. If you follow me, you know me, you know that I breathe, eat, breathe, sleep, shit, YouTube and blogging because those are the ways that people are going to find you you want people to find you you don't want to be out scrounging around trying to find people you want people to come to you right so of course your blog and youtube videos are of the most amazing ways to go ahead and do this so what i'm going to do is i want to show you yesterday um the site stats i just want you to pick up on something very 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 specific let this load real quick okay so i want you to notice right here where it says refer we have facebook so my link to the lady Panera society was on facebook and search engine google somebody came to this site somebody came to this site because they were looking for something on google and came across my website okay understand how powerful that is okay so anywho let us get into it blog post okay so i'm just going to take you through one of my blog posts and just really point out like some key things that you really need to make sure that you are having so that way um your blog post is set up for massive success so the first thing i'm going to point out is the title the title matters so much, okay? Um, you wanna have a title that's gonna be intriguing, a title that clearly solves a problem um, because you want people to click. You want people to click on it, right? The first thing people are gonna see is the title. If the title is not intriguing, they're not gonna click on it. So clearly, five easy hacks to simplify your busy entrepreneurial life so you can focus more on improving productivity and being fabulous. I don't know a title that gets any better than that. At least none of my titles. <laughs> so make sure that you have a title that really just draws people in. A title that can clearly answer a question. Okay, so the next thing, the next element I want you to notice are the share buttons. If people read your blog post and they love it, which I know that they will, you want to give them a way to share it with people okay so i know with um this with my share buttons you can actually add more than what you see here uh you can add as there they have like all the so all the platforms all the platforms like stumble upon all of that um but i just kept it at the ones that i typically use okay so that way people you know the typical people share it on facebook various things like that so the next thing i might would suggest is the image the image and also the pin it button yes there is a um, plugin where you can just pin like any is it any okay well not over here in the sidebar but clearly anybody can come to the site and just easily just click pin so if you're going to have blog post images um, title images that are optimized for Pinterest this is going to be ideal but also making sure that your image is is just appealing and catchy like this I look at this and it just makes me happy okay so you scroll down so another thing that you want to do is you actually want to link to other things so this um, links to my graphic designer um, actually this links to the Aaron Condren planners these are what um, we call backlinks and backlinks are actually really important for like SEO um, if you're not too familiar with search engine optimization I'm not going to confuse you right now but you 
people who do know about SEO, you guys already know, like you don't want to just have links like internal links. You want external links as well. So I make sure to add some external links. Um, rescue time here is for you to be able to check out rescue time. And if somebody clicks on this link and they actually go ahead and install rescue time on their computer and they love it and they decide that they want to buy the pro version, I'm going to get a commission. Hey, um, let's see. Okay, a PS line, the power of the PS line, you guys. When people get to the end of the blog post, do you want to hit them with a call to action? You can have more than one. So you see right here is a little picture of me. Hey, um, <laughs> and a PS line, PS, let's get to know each other. Hit me up on the Facebook and tell me how I can add value to your business or life. And this is linking to my Facebook page. Like I want you to click on this and add me as a friend. Hit me up, let's connect, let's talk, okay? Um, People miss out on a lot of opportunities because they don't have this PS line at the end of their blog post. But, you know, and everybody's different. I know that there are people that I followed from like affiliate marketing, network marketing who have profitable blogs. This is what they do. And I, I've learned from them. Um, so that is is something that you can really implement just to add that extra step, you know, that extra little um, piece of... I can't even think of the word I'm trying to say, but you guys get it. It's just another way for people to be able to connect with you or it's just another call to action. Then, of course, of course, where would we be without a big ass opt-in box? <laughs> okay, so of course, at the end of the blog post, you need to have an opt-in box. I mean, come on now, guys. But seriously, when people get to the end of the blog post, like I know me personally, I don't like to have pop-ups that that show when people are reading my blog post it may, it just it feels tacky so instead of doing that when people get to the end of the blog post they will still see this i mean this is the same thing as the pop-up it's the exact same offer um but instead it's down here and this it, it just it's better because people get to the end again you don't want to leave them hanging so let's say okay well i don't feel like being chan's friend but i do want this freebie <laughs> you like my little country accent so those are just the various um, things that you can do. Very, very simple, very easy to do, but it's to set up your blog post for massive success, right? And of course, the more views your blog post begins to get, the higher up is going to rank in Google. People are going to start finding you automatically. You don't have to rely just on social media. So start getting those blog posts out there. And if you need to... Um, Rego through this video, watch it again. Make sure that you like just jot down some some minor notes, just so that you make sure that you got it all together. Because this is this is not difficult to do, ladies. I promise you. Okay. So if you have any questions for me, definitely head to the Lady Panera Society Facebook um, group. Ask me there. I will answer your questions for you, and I will check you out later.